In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the out-of-the-box scoring model in Pardot. So right here, we're looking at a prospect record in Pardot, and you can see on the right, you've got prospect activities. And each one of those activities has a score related to it. That's going to increase this particular prospect's overall score. Now, this person's pretty boring. All they've done is fill out a form over and over and over again. But more often, you're going to see a mix of activities here. People who are viewing different web pages, filling out forms, clicking on emails, opening emails, all of those things are prospect activities that have a score related to them. But uh, you might not like the scoring model that Pardot gives you out of the box. The good thing is you can change it to fit your needs. So to change that activity scoring model, go to Pardot settings and click on automation settings and go to scoring. Here's our scoring rules. So by default, this is what you're gonna see, but again, you can change this. So click the blue button to add a scoring category if you're on the proper edition uh, of Salesforce. This actually allows you to score um, different types of activities in, in different categories, which we're gonna skip for right now. The button that we're interested in is edit scoring rules, and everybody will have that available. So once we're gonna edit the scoring rules, go and click the drop down to see which activity we're talking about. You know, in this case, I'm interested in email opens. So by default, email opens are worth zero points. I think that's a little bit stingy. Um, I think if somebody opens an email, that's about equivalent to a page view. So I'm gonna give it one point. And then you can choose this option here to adjust the score on just the very first email open or to uncheck it it'll adjust the score for each time somebody opens a given email. Now, I prefer that they only get credit if they opened it once, so you can check that box. And you can add additional scoring rules to change their values if you'd like here. You know, I think I'll do that with um, form handler or form error right here, negative five points. I think if somebody gets an error on a form, that doesn't mean that they're not interested that they're any less interested in my services. So I wanna change that to zero actually. So I'll choose form error and change that from negative five to zero. Go ahead and save changes. Now, when you adjust your scoring rules here, it works retroactively. So it's gonna apply across your organization and apply to all of your part op prospects based off whatever activities they'd taken up to that point. There we go. So go through these different activities and um, set up a scoring model that makes sense for your business. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.